If you've been looking for a way to add value to your tiramisu jailbroken Nintendo Wii U, Aroma is the answer. I'll show you everything it takes step by step to transform your Wii U from this into this. Fire up your Wii U and your PC because you're about to learn something new. All of the magic here happens through the power of the Aroma Public Beta. This is no ordinary beta, however, and I've got it linked for you in the video description. To get started with this page, scroll down to the section for downloads. You'll see that there are a series of checkboxes here that need to be clicked on in order to activate the download links. It's worth taking a moment to read the blog post associated with the first checkbox. There's a lot of great information about Aroma there. Once you click the last checkbox, you'll see that the download links are now activated on the website. In the first download section, you'll see three items pre-selected. The first one is an environment loader, and you'll need it in order to load Aroma. The second is a NAND dumper, which allows you to back up your NAND or flash storage on your Wii U. And the last one is an FW.IMG loader. You can think of it as a Kickstarter to get Aroma off the ground and up and running. To get these three payloads, scroll down to the green Download Payloads button and click on it. They'll be bundled up for you in a single zip file by the website. Next up in the second download section is what's called Aroma Base. It's the core component of Aroma that you'll need in order for it to work on your system. Come down to the green box that says Download Base and click on it to download Aroma Base in zip format. In the third and final download section is a series of plugins you can choose from. Blue Pair comes pre-selected, so we'll go ahead and use that one in this example. You can also click on any of the other plugins that you'd like to package in with the upcoming downloadable zip file. Once you've made your selections, come down to Download Additional Plugins and Modules and click on the green box to download the zip file. Along with these plugins, there is also an additional set of plugins on the GBA Temp website. I've got it linked for you in the video description. You can scroll through the list of choices on this website and download any of the plugins that interest you. I'll show you where these plugins typically go on the SD card in just a moment. If you don't already have the version of the Homebrew App Store that's compatible with Aroma, you might want to go ahead and do that during this process as well. It's hosted on the GitHub and linked in the description. Scroll down to the Assets section and look for the version of the program that ends in WUHB. That stands for Wii U Homebrew Bundle. Click on that link to download the program to your computer. In this case, the download is not zipped and it's already in WUHB format when you receive it on your computer. All right, let's sort out all of this stuff that you just downloaded. Go ahead and open up File Explorer and then open up the Downloads folder. Extract the three zip files that you just downloaded. And as you extract each of those zip files, you can delete them one at a time out of your downloads folder. And remember, anything that you delete is still archived and backed up for you in the recycle bin should you need it. It's perfectly okay to extract each of the three zip files into their pre-selected folders. I always find it easiest to drag and drop files from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen in two separate file explorer windows. To that end, I'll take the window for downloads and snap it to the left side of the display. If you haven't already, lower the door on the front of your Wii U and remove the SD card by pressing in to eject it. Then insert the SD card into the card reader on your PC. When the File Explorer window for the SD card appears, I'll take it and then snap it over to the right side of the display. I want to point out something important about the SD card's folder structure here. You already have a folder called Wii U if you've done the Tiramisu jailbreak. That becomes important because we're going to go into the first folder that you uncompressed for Aroma here, and you'll see that there's a Wii U folder. Drag and drop this folder onto the root of the SD card. Be very careful not to put it into one of these subfolders. Only drag and drop it outside of them onto the root of the card. If you're prompted to replace the files inside Wii U, click Replace to do so. With the Aroma files copied over, you can go back one level in the download structure to the root of the downloads folder. Now you can delete the Aroma folder, and again, remember, it's backed up for you in the recycle bin, just in case you need it. Next up, let's copy the Blue Pair plugin that we downloaded. Double click into the Blue Pair folder and you'll find, yet again, another Wii U folder. All you've got to do is drag and drop it outside of the subfolder structure, and if you're prompted, click Replace to replace any outdated files with the most recent version of the plugin. Starting to notice a pattern here yet? Pretty cool, huh? All right, go back one level in the File Explorer window to the root of Downloads, and you can right-click on and delete the Blue Pair plugin folder. You likely already have Environment Loader on your SD card because you need it in order to load tiramisu. However, there's an updated version here that supports Aroma, and that's why it's been downloaded by default. 
Once again, just drag the Wii U folder outside of the subfolders onto the root of the SD card and select replace to replace any outdated files for the environment loader. Go back one level in downloads and you can delete the environment loader folder. Ah, the one remaining lonely homebrew app store file, the .wuhub or .wub file. All you've got to do with it is go into the Wii U folder, then go into the apps folder inside Wii U. You'll see that there might be some other WooHub type files living there. Navigate back over to the File Explorer window for downloads and grab the hbappstore.wiiu homebrew bundle file and drag and drop it directly into the Wii U slash apps folder. Then you can go back over to downloads, right click and delete the file. Okay, now that everything's taken care of in downloads, you can close out that File Explorer window and just maximize the File Explorer window for the SD card. There are a couple of things here that need to be addressed. Tiramisu already has a SIG patches file, which is necessary to run certain types of content inside Tiramisu, but you'll need to copy that file and paste it into Aroma. To do this, go back one level in the navigation to the Wii U folder. Next to the Apps folder, you'll see a folder called Environments. Double click into that folder. You'll find a subfolder inside here for both Aroma and Tiramisu. Double click into the Tiramisu folder. There's only one subfolder inside here and it's called Modules. Double click into it. There's only one subfolder here. It's named Setup. Double click into it. You'll find a file inside here called 01 sigpatches.rpx. That's the file you're looking for. Right click on it and select Copy. To get back to the Environments folder, click the back arrow 1, 2, three total times. You'll see the Aroma folder here again. Navigate up to the Aroma folder and double click into it. Just like you did with the Tiramisu folder, go up to Modules and double click into it. And then inside the Modules subfolder, locate the Setup folder and double click into it. Here, right click inside the folder and paste the 01 sigpatches.rpx file. Hey, remember earlier how I mentioned that if you downloaded separate plugins, I'd show you where to put them? Here's what to do. Go back two levels in the navigation structure. Go out of Setup into Modules, and then click again to go out of Modules back into the Aroma folder. Right next to the Modules folder, you'll see a Plugins folder. This is where separately downloaded plugins live on your SD card. You'll see some plugins already living inside this folder, and you can add additional ones to your liking. You're done with the SD card. You can click on the X in the right corner to close out the File Explorer window. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on great new upcoming game system modding content. Go ahead and remove the SD card from your computer and insert it back into the front slot for the SD card on your Wii U system and close the door. Before you power on the system, press and hold the X button and continue to hold the X button when you press the power button. Continue holding the X button through the Nintendo logo and the Wii U logo. And instead of loading Tiramisu in the Wii U main menu, your system will load the most recent version of the environmental loader. It probably looks familiar to you from jailbreaking your system with Tiramisu, but this time you also have the option for Aroma. Tiramisu is highlighted in yellow because it's set as the default environment. Let's change that. First, make sure the blue highlight box is set to Aroma. It should be by default. Press the Y button on the Wii U gamepad and you'll see that the yellow highlight for Tiramisu transitions from Tiramisu over to Aroma. Press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to lock in this change. Aroma will let you boot into three different menus by default. The Wii U main menu, the Virtual Wii system menu, or the Virtual Wii homebrew channel. At least for now, I think it makes sense to boot into the Wii U main menu. Make sure that the blue highlight is selected on Wii U main menu. It should be by default. Then press the Y button to lock in the change. Then press the A button on the Wii U gamepad to continue. Give your Wii U a moment to get the hamster running in the wheel and you'll be loaded into the Aroma environment for the first time. There are some changes here and they're changes for the better. One of the many great features of Aroma is it automatically puts your homebrew content right on the main menu of the Wii U. You no longer have to go to a separate homebrew launcher to access these apps. Speaking of new apps, let's check out the Aroma Updater so you can learn how to update Aroma online each time rather than having to go back to your computer. From inside the main menu of the Aroma Updater, you'll see a listing of any payloads that are installed on your system. Any required payloads are marked with a red dot. 
In this case, all of the payloads are already up to date because, you know, we just downloaded all the stuff and put it on the SD card. However, to run the update process, press the plus button on the Wii U gamepad. Once everything has been updated, the system will automatically restart. You can see a list of plugins that are active in Aroma and make changes to them. To do this, press and hold the left one shoulder button, not the trigger button. Press down on the D-pad, then press the minus button near the bottom right corner of the Wii U gamepad. This opens up the Wii U plugin system config menu. As this is a first time install of Aroma, there are only two plugins listed here. You can navigate to them with the D-pad and select them with the A button to have a look at them. I would recommend though, unless you know what you're doing with these plugins, I wouldn't make any changes to them. To get back to the config menu, press the B button, then press the home button to leave the config tool and go back to the main menu of Aroma. We went to the trouble to install the blue pair plugin when we set up Aroma, so we might as well have a shot at this, especially since it's right there on the home menu. Navigate to blue pair and either select it with a Wiimote or just tap on it on the Wii U gamepad. The on-screen menu recommends plugging in a PlayStation 3 DualShock controller with a USB cable into the back of the Wii U to pair it. I know this will come as a complete shock to you, get it? Shock? DualShock? But I happen to have one of those because I've made all those jailbreak videos for the PlayStation 3 on the channel. Alright, so I'll plug this DualShock controller into an open USB port on the back of the Wii U. And according to Blue Pair, it paired the controller almost instantly. Alright, let's put that to the test though. Press the home button on the Wii U gamepad. And you'll see that Player 1 has the Wii U gamepad and a Wiimote assigned to it. And Player 2 now has a new wireless controller assigned. And if you look right where it says resume on screen, you'll see a phantom listing for player 2's icon that you can control with the analog sticks on the DualShock controller. Amazing! Now that you've got Aroma installed, let's take a look at some of the other great things you can do with your Nintendo Wii U. Learn how to play backups of your favorite Wii U games off of USB with this video shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comment. I'll see you over there.